Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Nora. We are so, so excited to have you today. Could you please let us know who is Nora? What do you do? What are you passionate about? And where can we find more information about you? Sure. Well, thanks so much for having me on. It's so fun to chat with you. Um, I live in Portland. I am a mom of two boys and um, I I run two separate companies. So I started my first company at 22. It's called Bridal Bliss. Um, and it's a wedding planning firm based in the Pacific Northwest. So we have three different offices um, throughout Oregon and Washington. And we basically plan weddings. So anyone that's engaged or planning any type of social event. So we do birthday parties, um, like anniversary parties. We did a really big proposal a couple of weeks ago. Um, we help from start to finish. So we help them book their vendors, find their venue, find what everything's going to look like, and then execute it. So we keep everybody on track all throughout planning and really become like friends and family with our clients and guide them through the whole process, take away all their stress, um, do all the nitty gritty background details that nobody wants to do. And then on the day of, we are just in the background making it all happen. So nobody has to lift a finger and just really enjoy the day. Um, so I've been doing that for almost 20 years. And then back in 2018, my um, son-in-law at the time was, she was an intern for Bridal Bliss. I, um, she was working with me and became a lead wedding planner and helped expand Bridal Bliss into the new markets. And then I introduced her into my husband's brother and now we're sisters, which is so fun. So awesome. we were just like commiserating over cocktails, which we do quite a bit. And we were just kind of complaining to each other about how we felt like we were constantly babysitting our clients and constantly reminding them to sign that contract or send a check for payment. And the ind industry just felt so antiquated that all these vendors were sending like Word docs or PDFs and expecting clients who, you know, are always on the go, always busy to like print it, sign it, scan it, find an envelope, find a stamp. So it's just like a whole process and it would just get delayed and delayed and delayed. And um, we were over it. And so we set out to find software that already existed that we can incorporate into our company. And we tried everything on the market. And what's really difficult about the wedding industry is that there are three parties. So there's the client getting married, planner, who's like the general contractor, and then there are all the vendors. So the, the florist, the baker, the photographer. And what was happening is that vendors that were utilizing technology, it all left out the wedding planner. So if I was a photographer, and I was sending a client a contract, it would go directly to the client. But the client wants their wedding planner to look it over before they do anything. But when they would forward the link to get the contract to their planner, it would be a broken link because it's not the same. And it caused more problems than it solved. And so we went down a rabbit hole and decided to fix the problem ourselves. So we created a company called Rock Paper Coin and it's geared towards the wedding industry where those three parties are all involved. And it's contracts, virtual invoices, uh, shared documents, a whole host of tools for wedding planners, wedding vendors of any type. And um, something that's really exciting for our members is that our processing fee is only two and a half percent. Um, they instantly save money by hopping on our platform and they can send an unlimited amount of contracts for virtual signature. We don't limit the number of uh, clients that they work with. And the best part is that all three parties can collaborate. So if I'm your wedding planner, you're my client, and there's a photographer that sends you a contract, I instantly get notified and you as my client can actually give me permissions to act on your behalf. So I can, I can make all your payments for you. I can sign all your contracts for you. You're still connected directly with the vendor. I'm just like the middleman that's saving everybody time and money. <laughs> so oh my God. it has been quite a ride. We launched um, at the end of 2019, which was interesting timing. We were just actually talking about it last night that it's probably one of the best things that ever 
happen to rock, paper, coin because the wedding industry essentially just shut down. There were little to no weddings. And if there was a wedding, it was like downsized so, so much. And so all of these wedding professionals had time to just like scoop back, take a high level look at their company and see what they could do to streamline processes, to make things easier. And they weren't going into any office. They weren't seeing any of their clients in person. So there had to be a digital way to interact. So, you know, everybody got used to Zoom. I think the, the number one phrase that was uttered was, I can't see you or I can't hear you. <laughs> First into something like that and finding a solution, like you're going to find something. So we had a crazy amount of signups very early on um, and people had time to really learn it and get comfortable with it. And then when the business came back, they're like totally on board. So it's been wild. Um, I mostly work on rock, paper, coin at this point. Bridal Bliss has a really amazing, solid team. And, um, you know, I'm just kind of involved at a high level because I love it and I miss it. Um, but mostly focused on the software. Well, that is so impressive. I think my favorite part about all of my favorite things that you said uh, was <laughs> that you, you created something that you really wish that you had. And I'm sure, you know, as a wife yourself, as somebody that's gone through this process, as somebody that plans this process, you've seen the pain across every single person involved and you just said, screw it, I'm going to walk into this. I've never launched software before and I'm going to do it. What made you decide, you know what, I'm so frustrated that I'm just going to grab my sister-in-law and we're going to go do it ourselves. Talk me well, through that was moment. It was actually her idea. So she gets all the credit and it's definitely morphed, but um, we had no intention of creating a software company, like none at all. We wanted to use something that already existed. And then when we found that nothing existed, we were like, well, let's just hire a developer to create something for our team to use in-house. Again, totally naive, <laughs> having no idea how much time something like that takes or how much money. Um, it's crazy. And so, you know, once we got that, maybe not. So we just like took a break and we're just kind of thinking about it. And we started just talking to our friends in the industry about the idea and more just seeing what they used to see if there was a solution that we hadn't discovered yet. And everyone was like, oh, that sounds amazing. When you figure it out, let us know. So then like a light bulb went off, we started doing more formal market research, talked to probably 800 different plans around the nation and everyone was struggling with the same, same problem. So that's when we were like, okay, let's do this. Good and, for you. Um, it's yeah, it's been fun. It's been a roller coaster. I will tell you with Bridal Bliss, I started it, I built it myself. And with Rock Paper Coin, I had Elizabeth, my sister-in-law, and we did it together. It is such a different experience to have a co-founder. Um, it's been like night and day, just because, like, you have someone to bounce ideas off of, and and starting a company is stressful, and it's so much time, and it's such like a life suck kind of. So. Yeah. Like when I'm down, she's up. And when she's up, I'm down. And so we really like would lift each other up and have a common goal. So um, that's been really fun too. I'm so glad. And, and you're right. You've had both experiences. Um, I love how one, it sounds like it was all passion. Like I'm going to go in the wedding industry and I'm going to help people have the most amazing day of their life, right? It's our big special day and you're doing it out of passion. And then I love that the second company totally different. We're doing it because there's a giant pain and we're tired of it. Now the rest of the world is watching us and they're like, whenever you're done with that thing, let us know. And you're jumping in with a co-founder. I love it. So what is it like working with family? We could keep it politically correct if you want yeah. to. Or <laughs> No, it's so funny because we were just, we had a big all team meeting for Rock Paper Coin this week. Our entire team flew in and Elizabeth and I were talking about this because the reason we think our relationship works so well is we started with a business relationship for years, probably, I don't know, five to eight years before they got married, we were coworkers. And so we had a very solid foundation. Um, we trusted each other. We knew how each other works. We know what makes the other person tick. Um, and we both kind of have our areas of expertise. And so the partnership works really well together. And it's just kind of a bonus that we get to 
aunts to our nieces and nephews and see each other at family events. And um, we're pretty good about